Huh, it's actually kind of dark out for uh, four in the morning. You can see the mountains and everything. Um, yeah, so I've narrowed down when the sun actually stops, like, you know, in Anchorage. We don't have the 20... We don't have the 24-hour sunlight, but we do have midnight sun. Um, yeah. You can still see light outside for about 23 hours of the day. So, little tip for you guys ever going to visit here in, like, right around the summer uh, eclipse, which is when the sun is, you know, closest to Earth. So, obviously, it's up longer. Um, yeah. little advice. Just, um, if you're going to get to sleep without curtains uh you know your best bet is 2 30 to 3 30 that's when there's like the least amount of light outside it's like 2 30 to like 3 35 is a good time but yeah it's about 4 10 right now so obviously the sun's coming back up yeah so during the summer peak it's like probably about an hour so if you're moving here or if you're visiting um that's your tips to achieving good sleep. Yes. Yeah. Um, ugh, I gotta start working on the videos. <sighs> Reading comments and stuff like that. Do, 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 do. That's really cool, actually. Hang on. Yes, I looked back, and pretty much every one of them did have ramen in there. <laughs> Weird. Backing up. Something loose in here? Huh. That's weird. But yeah, cooking some mole ramen. Just having a bowl and um, having another bowl. Yay. If this thing would hurry up and boil, uh, that'd be good. So, here's what's in it. Bunch of celery salt, tiny bit of chopped onions, uh, a little bit of garlic salt, some rubbed sage, like one or two little flakes of this, right, crushed red pepper, tiny bit of that, tiny bit of rosemary, okay amount of this, and that. So... That's pretty good, I guess. The chicken ramen it tastes it tastes pretty. I, I think, at least. Usually, I put other stuff in it. As I said, like probably four or five days ago. I don't know. But yeah, I think I want to do the uh, cooking thing again. Whenever I uh, made uh, what's it called, uh, French toast. I haven't made French toast in like two years, as you guys may have saw. Slash remember if you just been watching after like 600 days Actually more like 700 something because it's been like two years ago What are you doing Ted? What are you doing buddy? Huh? Yeah Anyways And I think it was weird because it's like my sister was totally like vlog bombing. I was like right over here and she's over there like sleeping. Then the fire alarm went off. I was like, ah, la, 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 la. So that was pretty cool, I guess. I also remember when I used to vlog like this all the time, like, hey, what's up? So, yeah. Spoiled. Spoiled. Oh. Okay, we're good. Huge fingerprint on the ones. <gasps> I, I guess I cleaned it. I don't know. Dunk. Yeah. Put way too much water in there. That's all I gotta say. MacBook Pros. Ho oh, ho ho, and I'm gonna watch the keynote. Eh, eh, what? Uh, that is weird. Okay, it, I'm on Safari right now, obviously. Um, 
Hang on. Google Chrome. Apple Events. You get that message. Something's really dishy here. Well, I guess it only makes sense. Safari, I think, works with HTML5 better, and Safari's an Apple product, so. But it's so slow for me because I haven't used it in like two or three, four, four or five months. But, yeah. Now, time to watch all 112 minutes of this and nerd out. Hello, and welcome to WWDC. I'm Siri, your virtual assistant, and today, I was asked to warm up the crowd, which should be easy since the high will be 75 degrees. Thanks for that. <laughs> so, here we are, in San Fran, the ATM of Silicon Valley. If you developers need investors to finance your app, I found 396 venture capital firms there to close to you. And hey, speaking of developers, how many developers does it take to change a light bulb? None. That's a hardware problem. <laughs> I see lots of familiar interfaces in the crowd. Looks like Instagram finally accepted Facebook's friend request. Hey, any of you guys been working with Ice Cream Sandwich or Jelly Bean? Who's making up these code names? Ben and Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> I am excited about the new Samsung. Not the phone, the refrigerator. Hubba hubba. <laughs> and speaking of dinner, after the show, if you're looking to paint the town red, I found a number of sushi restaurants whose reviews mention $2 sake bombs fairly close to you. The guys at Yelp know what I'm talking about. Wow, I've had really crushed it. Now I want to say something straight from the CPU. iPad, can you slow it down a bit? I love you guys. And it's really hard for me to get emotional, because, as you can tell, my emotions haven't been coded yet. Thanks for being such a wonderful crowd. Have a great WWDC. And remember, you guys rock. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Comparison shot. See? That one's way thinner. That's the side of it. Just just two little things. And there's a side of mine. Optical drive. Okay, that number is bigger than what my computer is. <laughs> Mine's 1920 by 1080. But dang, that's crazy. Four times the number of pixels. Retta display. I'm nerding out over here. But, um, yeah. But this, I'm running on an 09 Nothing. computer, so. My model of iMac is the first one. How are you going to know if what 2009 model it? Because there's two 2009 uh, iMac models. But mine doesn't have a black back on it. Mine is all aluminum. So, that's how you know. If you see one with a black back, it's like, it's March 2009 model backwards to like, late 2007. And this is 09 and beyond. How they look. So, there you go. Little, little tech tip for knowing if an iMac is new or not. So, yeah. And then with the MacBook Pro, it's, well, you can't really, it's just, it's just thinner. This is like, probably about an inch thin or so. It's like, my thumbs are kind of small. It's like the same size as my thumb. This is like the same as an air in thinness. That's insane. This way. Okay, time more, time more, time more. You turned it off. Nice. Jeez, how, how far does that thing go? 15. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? I want to be 
Make it like an escalator and then just like fall off. I do that all the time online. <laughs> go, go. You got this. You're like 80% of the way up. Just like touch it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. See right there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now, now touch the little metal thing. There you go. Hey, does that thing light up? Oh no. Yeah. How do you feel after climbing Mount Everest? <laughs> like a boss. Dude, let's go put me in those lockers over there. Let's go put me in those lockers. <laughs> Good job. Yep, catching up on internet kill television. Um, that's how far behind I am. Four eighteen. I have two months. I I don't even know where I last left off. It is insane. So I I can't say it without. Doing the little jingle, like in the older ones, like internet kill television. I can't, I can't. It's impossible. But anyways, yeah, that's what's going on. <coughs> Drinking a bunch of Mountain Dew. If you can see, we got, we finally got some Mountain Dew again. Like, I don't know. I know it's not good for me. I'm like, give me some apple juice or something. But I guess apple juice is more expensive. Imagine that. Um, so. Put more crap into my body after running a mile today. I ran a mile today in like nine minutes and I was I was out of breath. I was like, oh, oh. And that's pretty horrible for me. Um, my heart rate got up to like 205 or something. I was like, I I need to go outside more. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, being being uh, that summer's gonna suck. Well, not really gonna suck. I mean, I'm gonna be lonely for summertime because um, I have like I I have like three friends that I really hang out with. And um, do I have three friends? <laughs> do I even have three? Hang on, let me think. Okay, yeah. So um, I have one of my friends is vacationing in like two weeks. <laughs> right, right as soon as my sister gets in, she's actually uh, flying in here exactly two weeks from when you guys see this. So, yay. Um, but yeah, and then, uh, Alyssa's moving, I think next week, or something like that, so, that sucks, and then, uh, and then, another one of my friends is on vacation until the middle of July, so, um, till the middle of July, when everyone gets back from vacation, and, uh, can actually do stuff, and you still got, like, a month of summer left, I <laughs> I'll be pretty lonely. Um, Shannon actually was gonna come back this summer, um, but due to money problems, like uh, shortage of money at the moment, with between you know both of our families, she most likely will not be coming back this summer. So that also sucks. Uh, I was planning on shooting exercise ball image three, but you know with a script this time, an actual plot uh, instead of just kicking a thing around and throwing it at each other so hadn't made one two almost a year and a half yeah I, I was planning on making a third one whenever he was here but we had other ideas that obviously went really well i mean last summer was a great year for videos so um bunch of news bunch of news yeah so not really gonna be uh i'll <laughs> I'll try to make the vlogs interesting. Uh, whenever my sister does get here, we're going to be taking a Kenai Fjords. Uh, crews are going to be taking a train down from uh, Anchorage all the way down to uh, Seward, Alaska, which is uh, around the middle of the Kenai Peninsula. We're going to take a cruise out there. 
um, at about 12, we're, well, we're leaving for the train at 6.30, train leaves at 6.30. So um, we go down to Seward and we'll be there about at about 12 something. So that's a six hour train ride. And then the uh, cruise itself will be about six hours. Uh, glacier cruise, so I'll be sure to take you guys with me. I got a battery charge and everything else. It's awesome. Um, might even shoot some stuff on the DSLR. And then we go back up to Anchorage and we'll be home about 10 or 11 off the train. So, whew, crazy. It's going to be a good, it's going to be a cool day. We might even see some whales. You guys want to see some whales? Are you ready to see some whales? I'm ready to see some whales. But aside from all of that cool stuff, um, I'm going to try to make the summer interesting. Try to. So, yes. Um, Mitch even moved, uh out of the out of the area he still lives in Anchorage but um not as close to where we can hang out like every single day and longboard all the time so literally um there's gonna be no one living in my neighborhood soon um, no one that I really hang out with is gonna you know there's not gonna really be anyone left in the neighborhood it is dead I mean two years ago you had actually three years ago you had everybody to hang out with every everybody moved here like at the same time and now it's just like <sniffs> so that's depressing uh yeah that's about it giggity no giggities help okay at first look it looks really dark outside like i was over here and i was like oh my god it's actually dark outside it's because I have the light on. Yeah. It's still dark. It's 2 in the morning already. Oh, it's raining. That's why. Yep, it's raining pretty good, I guess. Huh. I'm about to go outside and check it out. Huh. It's actually raining pretty good out. Nice. You can hear it. I think I'm gonna go under real quick. Dang it. It's actually raining pretty good right now. Why am I zooming in? 